make this quick video here. And I know it's pretty late, but this is at least two hours of work. This is a miracle save here. I had this Bissell Power Group pet trash pine, and it was dead. Nothing, nothing. And um, a long time ago, I had a Shark Era Pro hand vac, and it, I broke the handle on it. And I was really pissed off that I did that. But I kept it still, hoping I could fix it. Well, I never did, and that was really sad. But I actually put that thing's motor in here, and I literally, like, look here. So I had to take the filter on. Unfortunately, it was missing a lot of this back part, so this is just a temporary tape on filter. But um, you can actually kind of tell. That's the AeroPro Sharks case. It was not, the motor is not taken out because there were safety screws on it and I couldn't get it apart. So I just decided to keep it in the housing. So unfortunately, this thing's original motor housing was, it, it could not be used. That part would not fit. So I just decided to sit it in without it. And it was actually like a perfect fit. I used paper, yes, I know. I used these paper cups as like insulation on it. So I know it's quite sketchy, but I can show you from here. You can kind of see it. You really can see how bad it is. Let me just shine the flashlight in that way. Yeah, it works. You can kind of see the paper cups and there's the housing. So this just, there's no quarter one, unfortunately. That was not being, I could not save that either. Um, So it just kind of threads out here. It's, I just tied it so it doesn't, you know, Cool, pull out um the power switch unfortunately i could not get that to work um i think the switch is actually bad in it but unfortunately i test out i thought the switch was bad tested with my meter and it's bad it is um good it's, i don't even know what i'm saying it's so late but um the switch is good so i got rid of everything or something with the board it was not worth saving it and i just got this machine so, I actually got this to work. There's like no suction, unfortunately. It is so unfortunate. I mean, there's like a little bit of suction in there, but it's actually like from exhaust quite a bit of I do have to use it with this power strip. So I plan on opening this back up again to take a look at the motor and seal it somehow because it needs to be sealed. Main issue with it because, let me get, where's the flashlight, there it is. Um, I mean, one can really tell, but, oh my God, I can't do this. It is not sealed very well in there, so. It does definitely need to be opened up again. But it is quite a miracle save. So I think it was worth it to have this machine actually working. Um, I don't know if I will ever be using this. You will see an update video on it, but this is one of my projects right now. But it has a cord and it turns on. So I think that is an accomplishment in itself. Getting that motor to fit in here, and my drum had to be busted out, yes. Oh, it was bad. Um, a lot of the stuff got to be cut out, so there's basically no chance now that um, I can fit a the original motor in here. I do have the original motor. I have now tested it, because I don't know if it was a board problem or the motor was actually dead, so I don't know. But everything is all cut out, and so there's no saving it now with the original parts so this is the cord original cord from the actual hand vac so there's no there was no rewiring needed it's just a lot of cutting and getting it to fit but hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video obviously there will be an update if this somehow gets to work i do have a hose for it but the hose is quite beat up it is not split so i have a hose that fits but no attachments or power nozzle that's how i got this so hope you guys enjoyed this video comment like subscribe and i'll see y'all next time Bye!